Hey guys, how you doing? And I want to give you an update on my uh, dual saddle plate that I've built for the Celestron Twin Rasses. Now, in my video that I shot photographing the Great Orion Nebula, which you can see at the end of this video if you like, I'll uh, create a link for that. Um, I had an issue, which was that one of these plates here, even though it was done up tight, was moving throughout the night. All right, so as the as the telescope slew to um, Orion, one of them started to move and both telescopes went honed in on the same location. So the HA um, RASA and camera it was fine capturing the old HA data and the RGB data was just moving and uh, completely lost probably about, I think it was about 400 frames um, of that night. So talk about quickly the issues that I've had from the start with this and I'll show you what I've done to uh, move on from it. One of the issues with this um, previously in the past I used a, a longer Losmandy bar. Now before I actually go on about it I just say that the standard Losmandy setup side by side setup is fantastic. It is affordable and it is strong. It's just that holding two rasses um, does have a lot more challenges than a dual refractor um, based style um, side by side setup. So if you're using this for um, refractors for a side by side setup, completely fine. Now because I had modified this to turn the, the plates in and out both sides um, so that way I could train both telescopes on the same, same point and the same target, I had issues Originally I used a longer bar and that created flex in the in the system so I wasn't quite able to have both um, brasses in on the same same central point. The uh, I moved to the, the shorter bar here. Now the shorter bar, bar I ended up having a, a few other issues and that was um, getting the you know my rotation right and moving it it gets a bit sticky and a bit tricky so when I'm adjusting it to try and get the two rasses in on the same point, it's still incredibly difficult. Also, on the back, there's not much room for washers, you know, to go in there as well to help help add support. So, um, what's happened with one of these holes here is, after a while of me tightening it up, um, it's actually cracked, and the uh, the actual Allen bolt itself was starting to go through the hole a little bit. So they're just some of the issues that um, I was having with this setup and I was doing this on a budget too. Um, I didn't exactly want to go out and buy, I think it's ADM that make a, uh, a plate with adjustable knobs on it that you can sort of um, adjust your plate. I didn't want to go down that path, I wanted to try and save some money. However, looking back of it maybe it might have been a cheaper alternative I'm not sure however I have fallen in love with Prima Loose Lab products um, my Eagle 4 uh, computer system I love that and then over time you might have noticed I've added some more Prima Loose Lab um, equipment to my twin brasses setups so this next dovetail twin plate setup is all Prima Loose Lab. I'll show you. So here it is, my Prima Loose Lab dual saddle plate configuration, and this is what's going to replace my Losmandy setup. Now, some of the benefits of this. Uh, that I'm using a shorter bar and I've been able to use a shorter bar or shorter plate and still have the twin rasses set up uh, on top so hopefully that reduces the flex a little bit more as we can see here it's mounted to this other dovetail uh, plate and that will really sort of reduce that flex a little bit as well as more bolts holding it all together in the center there now the great thing about this whole setup here is I haven't had to drill any extra holes in it I'm using all the existing holes that come standard with the Prima Loose Lab setup. And as we can see, 
I've got really good movement in the way these dovetail um, saddles move and they can be tightened up really easily and I'll have no problems at all with splitting any of the, uh, the holes that I've drew it out because I haven't. The, uh, the other thing that I like about this setup is that this plate or this saddle plate here sits right on the edge of this uh, uh, plate so it's going to give more support again um, throughout the whole system whereas this setup here as you can see my plate ends here and I've still got um, a fair bit of uh, room there for the, um, the, the saddle plate so yeah I hope, I hope this all sort of makes, makes sense um, but yeah I really look forward to using this setup uh, in the future this setup here costs a lot more than this setup right here it's probably about double the amount in Australian dollars so overall it's not exactly a cheap um, thing but I've slowly saved up my dollars over the time and bought a little bit of extra um, bits and pieces in the Prima Loose Lab brand and I really like the uh, the quality of this of this gear well guys I hope you've enjoyed this video in my new dual saddle configuration um, it makes a lot more sense I believe than the uh, drilling holes in the old Losmandy um, plate but as my twin rasses evolve so does my knowledge in how all these this whole system sort of works and goes together and it, the images are just getting better and better if you've uh, enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up if you've got any questions just leave a comment below and if you like check out some other videos all right guys so that's it for me so until next time take it easy see you